What's up everyone, welcome back. Patrick here, moving on to the next question. We're told the cost of operating a factory is allocated to four departments and it's based on floor space. So if the floor space that each department occupies is below, so in this chart here, so notice that department A occupies 450 meters squared of floor space, department B occupies 1,050 meters squared, et cetera, et cetera. And we're told the monthly operating cost is 42,000. We're asked how much of the cost should be allocated to each of the departments. All right, so this 42,000 is for the whole factory. And we're gonna allocate that cost to each department based on the floor space. So how can we do that? Well, let's first figure out what's the total floor space in the whole factory. Because once we have that total, then we can figure out what percentage or what's the fraction of floor space that each department is taking up of the whole factory. So notice if we take all these numbers, add them up, we would end up with 2,400 meters squared. So that's what the um, total floor space is for the whole factory. And so now if we want to get the, let's say the per, uh, percentage of total floor space. What we can do is we could take this and divide it by that. So we can get a decimal or we can get a fraction. I'm going to be using fractions. I think if you divide these, you would get a terminating decimal. So I think this one would be like 0.1875. And if it's a terminating decimal, that's fine. But a lot of times the decimals aren't going to terminate. They're going to continue to, um, to expand. They're going to expand infinitely. So like, let's say one over three, right? That would be 0.33 and it would continue repeating that sequence, then I think fractions is better to use because you don't want to be rounding the decimals. You want to get the exact value. And so the fraction would always give you the exact value versus a decimal. If it terminates, then yeah, that's fine. It will give you an exact value. But if it continues to repeat a sequence, then you may be, uh, you may make the mistake of rounding too early. So I think it's, uh, it's good to keep it as fractions for the most part. And then this here, 450 over 2400, if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 150, you would end up with three over 16. Then continuing on, 1050 over 2400. If you take both the numerator and the denominator divided by 150, you would end up with uh, seven over 16. And then 600 over 2400, that would be what, uh, one over four or 0.25. If you wanna keep it as the same denominator, this could also be four over 16. A lot of times it's good to keep it as the same denominator because then you could check your answer or check these answers by adding, uh, adding them all up and they should all add up to one. And then 300 over 2400, that would be one over eight, one eighths, or two over 16, right? And notice that three plus seven is 10, plus four is 14, plus two is 16. 16 over 16 gives us one. So we could be pretty confident that these fractions here are correct. And so then what you want to do, if you want to get the allocated cost to each department, right, how much of this 42,000 is going to be allocated to each department, you would just take these fractions, all these fractions, and multiply them by 42,000. And then you would get the respective costs allocated to each department. And when you do those calculations, you would get these respective costs over here. So 7,875 of the 42,000 gets allocated to department A, 
18,375 of the 42,000 goes to department B, 10,500 to department C, and then 5,250 to department D. And then if you want to check these, you can actually add them up. And notice when you add them up, you would end up with 42,000, which makes sense, right? So take the floor space, add it up, find the percentage of the total floor space for each department by taking that number, dividing it by the total. Again, I suggest whenever you get something like this, keeping it in fractions, just in case that the decimals don't terminate, they keep repeating, the fraction is gonna give you a more exact value. And so taking the fractions, multiplying it by the 42,000, you get the respective allocated costs.